Okay, so that's me, KL King, and today I'm just going to be showing you I've been working on some batch files. Sorry for the echo. I've been working on some batch files. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically just a fake virus. Freak someone out. It won't actually do any harm to their computer, but it looks like it does. It looks like it did. I ca I'm, I'm just calling it just for fun. You could send this in an email. It has to be running Windows, though. You could send this in an email. I, I called it Hard Disk Space Creator by Josh 2004, just to make it sound more realistic. So, I'll show you some of these in a minute, but when you click on this, I'll show you how I made it. When you click on it, make sure you have the volume turned up. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but... If you would like to create more space on your computer, press any key. Press it again. And then it says, I put PSU off to click keys multiple times. Again. And then it opens a new window. Press it again. Again. And then it brings up this. Which, but you just let it do its work. They probably think it's fixing the computer unless they know about this. And then it brings up this. Blue screen of death. So it looks pretty realistic. I mean, but if you if you notice, you can notice, or if you notice, you can see these borders right here, and it's easily like there's not. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is go down here, shows these little arrows. Hold down the left mouse button, and you drag it up, and then you just close the window. Right click, close, boom. And then it, it'll, it'll, it'll leave these open, and you just close those out. But anyways. So I'll show you the file here. So echo off, and then I'll actually I'll put this in there if you want me to. Actually, I can't put it in the description because it uses multiple files. Like this opens, and this um, hard disk space creator opens a different file, so I can't really link that in the description because the file you probably won't have the file on your computer unless you do. Then it's kind of weird. But anyway, <coughs> here's a little code here. And I can change this to whatever I want, and it'll say it. And um, start temp, so it starts speaking right here. Then it pauses, and that's when it says, press any key to continue. Then you press it again, and then it stops talking. Delete temp.vbs, so it deletes the voice, doesn't delete it off your computer. Just basically stops it. Then it, then it says, press any key to continue again. Then it shows this. Well, I, I put it in there. You have to click multiple times. And then, it's, and then it says press any key again, and then it start batch2.bat, which is another file I made, right? Uh, right here. Um, and that's echo off title, hard disk space creator. It pauses, pauses again. Oh, wait, I have an extra one in here. That's probably why it says it twice. We'll remove that one. And then it starts bsod, which is <laughs> blue screen death, is what I called it. And then if I go here, I'm going to save this. If I go here to Vsod, show you. Right click on it. Edit. This is a long one. I actually did not create this one. I copied it from the internet. And this one I can insert. So if, if you just want to run this file, simple. You just put it on a notepad, file, go to save. I'll show you how to do this in a minute. Save as, and then you can name it. But you have to put .bat at the end, and then change this to all files. And then you save it, and it and it changes it into one of these files right here, with little gears, a bat like right here, a, a dot bat file. Anyway, so what happens is, I start this. I'll show you. <clears throat> so when I start this, it says you know, it says the words. Then it opens batch two. Batch two. It. It opens a new window, and then that new window says hard disk space creator. Then it says press any key to continue, and then it starts bsod. Then that opens another window, and then the bsod is just all the stuff is just blue screen of death, fake. So all the stuff ends up opening. That's why it takes a minute to run the command. Then it opens the blue screen of death. So I'll go over this again. If you would like to create more space on your computer, press any key. <laughs> The voice is kind of weird. Press any key again. You have to click OK. And then there. Hard disk space creator, as you can see, it says it right up here at the top. Press it again. And there. Now just give it a minute. And there. 
and it looks pretty realistic. If you don't really know what's going on here, you can really fool someone. So, yeah, pretty cool idea, I guess. I mean, I'm sure it's a, someone's probably done something a lot more com complicated, but, you know, this is just a simple. And I'll put the link for the Blue Screen of Death batch trial, and I'll go ahead and show you how to do a simple batch trial here. It's kind of off topic. It's a random video. So you start and you open, um, do a new text document, right? Name it whatever you want. Just call it a one, two, three tests. So you click off and then you open here. Now here's a simple command. So if you do at echo off, all that really does is make it more professional, clean looking kind of. So do this now. If you wanted to make it pop up a dialogue or say something, now it'll, when you say this is a bad, it'll open in CMD. So if I wanted to say it, you have to type in echo, and this is one line. So I can type as much as I want here, and then if I hit enter, this is a new line. So it'll show a new line on CMD as well. So echo like a, <coughs> uh, hello. This. Oops. There, you have to put a space in there. Press that. And then if you wanted to say press any key to continue, you just type in pause there. And if you want to clear the whole entire thing, I'll show you that in a new one. So anyways, you just do pause if you want to. And then so you you'll click a key, then then if you want to you can do echo again and just say hi. And then if you want to go ahead and clear all the stuff that's already happened, you just I think yeah, I think you do CLS Pritcher. So say you want to open a file that's on your computer, or a website if, if you want. It's kind of all in one, but say you want to open uh, Google. So you type in start HTTP there, and slash slash. And then you can type in whatever website you are. So I'll just go www.qoople.com. So this will open it, should open in your default browser. Now if it's not working, all you have to do is go right here, and then, and then you type in like, so if I wanted to open an Internet Explorer, I type in Internet, Internet Explorer, that's probably right, yeah, dot exe. And then it'll open it in Internet Explorer, type in Chrome or Firefox or whatever. So if I go here, I'm going to go ahead and save this, or save as, 123.test was dot bat, remember you have to put the dot bat, change this to all files, and then hit save. And you see, it popped up right here, should save, and then click on it, double click, hello this is test, now press any key, remember? Now if you don't want that press any key to continue dialogue to pop up, do not put the pause. You still have to go to a new line though. Press it. And see, it opened google.com. There. Simple. Simple script. So, see, it cleared, but see, you can't tell that it cleared. So, if I wanted to do a clear space, so clear space right here, it cleared the chat, or the all this, it clears all this off. Still has the same window open. I'll do echo. Um, if... I know this doesn't really make sense, but you know. Now you know what? I'll do this. Echo. There. Okay. So then after that, it's gonna. Oh, you can also change colors. I totally just forgot that. I'm not really good on remembering all the colors, but I'll give you a little briefing here. So, anyway, so it shows that, right? It, and it cleared everything above clear space. So it already cleared all this. So it shows this, and say you want to, you can, uh, oh, by the way, and if, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I already told you this, but if you want to open a file, you start, and you find out the name of the file. So if I wanted to open impact speed, which is just a, if I double click, see, it's just an internet speed tester. So if you go on here, go to properties or whatever the object is. You need to find what it's actually called, and if you can see right here, it's qtspeedtest.exe. We're going to 
Control C, copy that. And then go start and then go Control V to paste. So this should work. So I'm gonna go save because you can just hit save because you already saved it as a bat file. So it'll just overwrite the previous bat file. So right here. Now watch us. Press any key. There. Huh. Oh, because I I see what I did here. So don't even listen to me about that. I'm sorry. I totally messed up. But if you want to edit this, you just right click on it. Edit. So just forget about this. So anyways, I'll say echo, right? Then I'm just going to do pause. And then... Uh, color. Zero is black. And C... I know A is green and C is red. So it'll... And zero, the first one, numbers are the background. So the background will be black and the letters shall be red. If I did this correctly. After that, echo you Okay, so I wanna save it here. Wow, I Stupid of me. I just realized what I did. What I did. I did color. I have to put color. And then pause. I'm not even gonna put this. I'm just gonna get rid of clear space. I'm gonna save it. See what I did wrong. There. See. So it it changed the colors. But see all my all my previous stuff. It's still here. So that's because I removed clear space. If I have clear space, only the press any key to continue right here should be there. But since I so like watch this. So it worked after that. Now after this I'll do CLS and then echo there. Everything is gone. Okay, it's a little simple thing here. Now let's try this again. And okay, now it's red. Now click it again. Oops. Well, I'm totally messing up on this. Clear space, I guess it actually just gets rid of the thing. Okay. So anyways, this is just a little quick tutorial here. Just not really tutorial, just random. Showing you my thing right here. And I'm, so I don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and go to B side here. I'm going to edit. I'm going to copy this file and enter it. This is going to be the only file I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload this. And I can't really upload this. So, because if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to, if you, if you want to send this to someone in an email, you have to create a folder like so. You can't just send that to them because I, they don't have the, the other files. Like, I'll show you one here. Like, it says start batch 2. Well, the other person is not going to have batch 2 on their computer, so you have to put it in a group. So let's just do new folder. Oops. Folder. Um. Oh. So, first you want to put this in here. It doesn't really matter what order it's in. And you put B side and that's it. Oh, you want to put speak in there too because that's for the words. So you tell the person, you tell them to open hard disk space creator. And you, so, or you put in that in the email, right? So when they open it, I'm not sure, but I think first they have to put this on their computer. They do that and then. If you would like to create more space on your computer, Press any key. There. So it shows that. And then it shows this. Uh, I'm not even going to do it. But then it should, they have to get this folder. Tell them, put them an email that they have to put it in their folder, right? So you might as well just show you. Email. 
I don't really care if you see my email. Buff it, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my name is not Jimmy. Just saying. <laughs> okay. So, let's do Compose here. And no. So, I'm going to just do the... No, I have an idea. No, no. Subject. Space. Saver. Four. PC. There. Now I'm going to enter some attachments here. And attach files. So, okay. So if I go to my desktop. There. This is the thing I want to open. So it's going to insert all that, and you're going to tell them block for security reasons. What? Well, yeah, that kind of sucks. Anyways, open. Well, that's not going to work. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I guess you can't exploit them through an email. Kind of ruins the whole purpose of this. Wow, that failed so bad. But anyways. As you can see, that's pretty much... You could, um... Let me think of another way. How do I do this? You could put in a flash drive and... Tell a friend or person, like, you know, if you're having PC issues, plug this in, open the file, put a readme in there, you know, say, put a new, uh, a new, uh, text document, and say, you know, just open this. <laughs> Actually, for you guys, I'll put in the description a file sharing, so I'll actually share this folder with you. But I'll rename it, um, let's see, PC Space Creator. And I'll put a readme in there. So I'll upload this for you guys to view. And anyways, thank you. I hope you guys like this video. I'll be uploading one, a new one very, very, very soon. And it's been kind of crazy. I've just done random stuff, but I'll be running. I have Kali Linux on Kali Linux on my computer. I'm using a virtual box, virtual, so I do have access to them. Anyways, uh, thank you, and uh, have a nice day. I hope you subscribe. <laughs>